They had a 450-ton device designed for one job, to stop a blowout. It failed. And then, they had no plan B. When the Deepwater Horizon exploded in April 2010, nigh April 2010, the world watched in horror. But the true catastrophe was only beginning. Beneath the waves, the wellhead ruptured, and crude oil began to surge into the Gulf of Mexico. The blowout preventer, that massive piece of engineering meant to be the last line of defense, jammed and buckled under unimaginable pressure. Engineers raced against time, deploying containment domes and top kill procedures. But every attempt met with setbacks and unforeseen complications. For 87 agonizing days, the gusher remained unstoppable, releasing millions of barrels of oil and transforming the Gulf's vibrant ecosystem into a disaster zone. The Deepwater Horizon spill was more than a technological failure. It was a sobering lesson in the limits of our control over nature and the consequences of when our best plans fall short.